FlossTube. This is Karen with KB Studio Creations. And Jason with Karen. Uh, so I'm actually going to start with haul um, briefly. So I got some floss. Jason picked it up for me from the store for some model stitching I'm working on. And she then, ran out of that color and I had to go get it for her. So I got it for her. Um, and then Is that really haul? Like going out and just buying something? Yeah. Okay. I feel like we've been very blessed in the fact that we've been given a lot of things lately and I'm just used to hearing like, oh, so-and-so gave me this and so-and-so <laughs> gave me this. It's weird to be like, we went out and bought some floss. <laughs> it's actually more haul than <laughs> the others. Yeah. Um, but the other things I can't show you really, but I bought a couple of the koala patterns um, that are going around where people are... Uh, uh, you bought a couple of them? I thought you, so she just, she stitched one of them. Yes, I did. And so I thought she had just bought that one. I bought another one last night. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, now I've learned. She's bought more. Okay. Um, so with a lot of these, the designers are donating the proceeds to help with the... Australian wildfires. Right. Australian wildfires, because I can Englishificate. So one of, the one I bought yesterday was the one from Linen and Threads. They have another name for their um, designer. Design I don't thing. know. Anyways, it was one from them. And then, um, oh, the other one I can show you because I stitched it. This is... Well, from, part of it. Well, I, oh yeah, I didn't stitch the extra words. But this is Qualen Australian Bushfire by Phil 6 au And it's on 14 count hand dyed Ada. So there it is. It's so cute. Um... And this is why I did haul first, just so I could go right into what I was doing. That is so cute. It is super cute. And I have an idea of how I want to FFO it, um, because koalas make me think of my grandpa, because he um, served in the military th there during World War II, and he also served a mission for our church in there after World War II. So um, I'm thinking to put um, pictures of him with that and the two koalas I'm stitching and just like some frames, collage frames or something. Anyways, we'll see how it goes. But um, Jason's working on a, another of my whips. Well, these are starts, actually, because I started and finished. Oh, do I need to show this now? Yeah. Oh, okay. So since there was a little bit of extra fabric at the bottom, I decided to do And It's You I Like. And they're by uh, Michelle Bendy Stitchy and Diana Edis Kismet. And it's on the same fabric, of course. And I'll probably just make that into like a, I don't know, probably a bookmark. We'll see. Um, and then also I had another start. This was my new year, new start. Um, and this is Celtic Summer by Lavender and Lace. And this is on a mystery linen. So we bought the patterns for the Celtic seasons, um, on our trip out West last summer, mm -hmm. well, two summers ago, 2017. Yeah. Two summers ago now. Um, and we bought this fabric too, but we've lost the tag, if it ever came with a tag. So this is a mystery linen. My guess is it's 28 count, but I couldn't tell you for sure. Um, but I just made a little bit of a start. Um, so yeah, that was my new year, new start. And I will be working on it periodically. Um, now whips, right? So, um, I worked more on Millie's Year from Cross Richard Magazine, and that was something that came, it was an insert, and so it's got all the different ones in this little, so. I should probably, like, join you in doing, like, this is all that's going on and holding things up, mm -hmm. but I'm actually, like, having tons of fun just sitting here cross-stitching while you do it, and I should look up when I talk, so then there were... Recorder can actually record me speaking, <laughs> but I'm not. So sorry. Love you guys. <laughs> so um, I got the <clears throat> March one done. So Jason wanted us to do every other month. So I finished January and I've now finished March and I'm changing the skin colors. Um, these two match two of my cousins. And then I started working on the May block, but just made a little bit more progress on that. So that's when I finished having fun with this one. Um, I don't work on it that much, obviously, but it'll get done eventually. I'm not, not too worried about that. Oh, and that's on 14 count hand dyed data. 
And so I'm not going to have that much to show, I feel like, this year because I'm not doing magical stitches anymore. Um, and I'm trying to focus. I'm trying. I'm going to try to do focus pieces. I've, I know people will talk about that, how they have a piece that they focus on. So, like, right now, I'm focusing mostly on this 2018 Mystery Sampler from uh, Linen and Threads. And it's huge. And it's on 14 count off-white Ada. And I'm working on the, I think it's June-July block. Uh, all I know is it's a two-month block. It is a two-month block. And it's in the middle, so... Doo -doo 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 -doo. <clears throat> so I'm down here. Uh, there we go. It's really hard to see what's showing with this. So I've made some good progress on this, and at this point, my thought is to keep working on this throughout the month. Kind of like have a monthly focus so, piece. Okay, hold on. I'm going to have to like hold on to that one for you, because, yeah, that one's a big one, and you don't know how to handle it, and I've been handling <laughs> it. So. <clears throat> Go for it. So, but this is, unless I get tired of it and want to work on something else, this is my focus piece for the month. And this is where she's at. So she's finished all these other blocks, but... This, since last time, I think last time you hadn't seen this block finished. So yeah, let me do an up close. Is. Let me do an up close of this block so you can see the block finished. Right, because that was my goal for the end of the year. So that finished that, and I started on this. And then one. this is the block she's working on right now. She's doing. She's got all the greenery done on this side, and then she started on the lion. So there's going to be some flowers in this part as well. There's mm -hmm. what two or three? Two. There's two flowers. Let's go finish the lion and then get the center block done. But Look at how awesome that block looks now, especially if you put it in conjunction with the one above it. Like, that looks really nice. Those two blocks together, like that finished block looks really good. Thanks. Cheer Karen on in the comments. <laughs> Woo! Because it looks really good. I really like that. I love the stags. I don't know why, but like, I think it has something to do with uh, Chronicles of Narnia, Lion, Witch, and the Wardrobe. How at the end they're hunting the white stag mm -hmm. or whatever. But I've always liked stags. I think they're really cool. And so, yeah, looks really nice. So, I'm making progress. I'll let you fold it up the way you want to fold it. Oh, it doesn't really matter. Um, so, unless I get tired of it and want to work on something else, that's my focus piece for the moment. So, I feel like my videos are going to become really short because I'm focusing on a focus piece and then I'm focusing on model stitching, which I don't show the model stitching until I release the pattern. So, But there is a pattern that should be being released sometime this year. And it's a big one that she, you've been working on for how long? Like oh, a year talking, and a half? You're talking about the animal faces. Yeah. Yeah. So I've been working on it for a couple years. And, um. It's taken a while because there's a lot of animals that we've been doing. So it's actually 12 patterns. Right. And each pattern has three options. So, so. there's a total of 36 patterns or right. iterations of the patterns. So. We're going to pause here because our video is about to run out and then we'll pick it up. Hold on. Okay. So. Okay. So you started before the oh. thing started recording. Um, in order <sighs> to reach my goals, which I will talk about later, um, I released some patterns on Etsy to get some more Etsy listings to reach my goal. So these are my Al City on book series, bookmark series. So you released the physical patterns. Right. The digital patterns have been on there for a while, but I released the physical patterns. So now you have the option when you go into the her Etsy shop where you can get either the digital digital, or you can get the physical copies. Of and these. then also the nutcracker combo. And we'll send those to you like pretty much the next day. We're good about sending them out the next day. Pretty good. Yeah. Um, the and, next business day. And then I'm going to put in a picture um, of the pattern I just released. It's called Crossing Over. This, well, you can show. These are, this is the explanation. So I'm going to talk a little bit about it. I'll leave this up. But, well, I guess you can put the pattern up over my yeah, face. Yeah, I'm putting the picture up over okay, this. Okay, we'll put the picture up right here. And then you can point at what you're pointing at and it'll, yeah. No? Okay. No. It was an idea! Um, so basically, I designed this in memory of um, my day job's boss's son. Confusing, confused yet? Yeah, my boss's son, um, and who died in 2018. Um, and so I came up with the idea at his funeral, and I eventually got it done. I started during Stitch Mania last year, took about six months to stitch, and then I gave it to my boss and his wife for Christmas. Um, so just a little bit of the symbolism. Um, Sunset and Evening Star comes from the poem Crossing the Bar by Alfred Tennyson. And then there's the dove, which is a symbol of peace. 
as well as I modeled it after the dove that is in um, one of our clients' um, logos. Their funeral, no, not funeral, their, well, funerals, but. Their, their cemetery, right? Cemeteries, right. right, that's the right word. Um, and I did a sun, because it's, you know, a source of light, and it's representative of the Son of God, and things like that. Um, the peninsula uh, represents the earth and our life here, and then the boat is, you know, crossing, crossing over. over. Um, and the boat is also modeled after a boat built by another client. Um, then six. So the sea, I did um, a quilt sort of pattern because I wanted to um, have like a traditional feel to it because uh, my bosses got deep New England roots, and I just wanted something that kind of st spoke to tradition. So I put a, a quilt pattern down there, and then God's Celestial Shore comes from the song. Um, I'll fly, fly away, which was sung at the funeral. So that is the explanation of that pattern. And if you want it, it is available in my Etsy shop as digital download. Okay, now we have another phone and he, we need to start using his phone to record these because his has an hour's worth of time. <laughs> Mine starts out with... It has 59 minutes and 59 seconds. That's not an hour. Mine starts out with like 10 minutes because my phone is just full. So anyway, sorry for all the cuts and splices and puts together, but we're trying to... We use phones to record and they're not the best, but we do do with what we got. Yes. So, goals. So I wanted to go over my goals from last year and my goals for this year for KU Studio Creations. So last year for Etsy, you had? 30 listings. Did you get it? I did. It was rough, but I, I did it. Woohoo! This year you have? 25 Etsy listings. 25 Etsy listings. So look forward to 25 Etsy listings for those who are like following the shop as well. Um, for 2019, you had the goal of become an official business. Which and I did, did you? Woohoo! That's it's like just, uh -huh. <laughs> it's still a scary that. thing, and I still sometimes I'm like, what in the world am I doing? Why am I doing this? But I know why I'm doing it. I'm doing because I like it. I just don't like the business part. But but it's for you guys. So for those of you who do love getting these patterns and following the floss tube and doing all this stuff, thank you. You've given us the gumption, the courage to go forward. And start her business. So, so thank you. Thank for your you. Um, Last year, you also had the goal of to release some free patterns on Gumroad, which I did. I think I released three. So if you want to get a pattern for zero plus, you can get it for zero, get it for free, or you can send me a few dollars too if you want. Is that just Gumroad.com? Mm -hmm. Okay, so go to Gumroad.com and the links below as well. Yeah, and uh, look at what patterns are out there. Look at other people's patterns. That's fine. Uh, but Gumroad. For those who don't know, it's a website where you can buy patterns or you can get them for free. It's just well, yeah. whatever for you my, want to pay. For for that, that's how my patterns are. And are there the, other patterns that are just a price? Yeah, you, oh, can, okay. you just have the option to set it for zero plus, where you don't have the option with a lot of other websites. Oh, okay, okay. And then next, 2019 goal was to reach 250 floss tube subscribers. I did not get this. I am bad in trying to get it. Um, for those who do floss tube, how do you get more subscribers? Put it in the comments below. Let us know what do you do to get more subscribers. If you want. So we really appreciate that knowledge because we're still trying to understand the whole navigating things. And I'm honestly not really trying to get more subscribers at this point. Like if I get them, great. Mm. Um, but it was too stressful for me last year trying to figure out ways to try to do something to get to get subscribers. So I did get 100 more subscribers than I had at the beginning of the year. So I'm up to 182 subscribers, you know, and I was only at like 80 at the beginning of last year. So I feel like that's still really good. I over doubled my subscriber list. Um, so even though I didn't achieve that goal, I still feel like I made good progress on it and I'm happy with it. So big thank you to those who did end up subscribing throughout the course of the year. You helped us to reach, maybe not our goal, but you helped us to create a really good milestone that we overcame. Yes. Or she, or... Thank you. Yes. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for subscribing. I really do appreciate it. Um, and then the last goal for la from last year was to make a Discordium. So each year I want to try to have a goal that is just improving my skills. So this was my first Discordium that I stitched. And it's so cute. I love it. I, I want to stitch more. I, I think it looks really more. cute. Um, and Biscorniums are just kind of like pin cushions, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Decorative pin cushions. It's just, it looks so cool. It does. I really like it. So that was my 2019 goals. So my 2020 goals, we already said, 25 Etsy listings. Um, New Etsy listings. Yes. Um, as part of that, I want to release all of my animal face series. Which so, we were talking about yeah, a second ago. 12, 12 animal faces. Um, 
and I've been working on stitching it and I've had some moss stitches working on it and it's gonna happen this year. So close. Just gotta do a little bit more stuff. It's just stitching the one thing, right? No, I have more than that. Okay. Plus getting all the patterns ready. Plus. Yeah. So what you're saying is that I need to help by stitching on that big thing. You don't have to. Oh, I have to. No, you don't. You'll get burned out again. Focus I on know. the things you already have. <laughs> Ow. Okay. But true. It's, that's why it hurts so much because it's true. I feel like I look like Santa Claus whenever I laugh. <laughs> anyway. Um, so my next goal is to try to get my patterns carried by a distributor. This is another goal that's kind of scary, but rather than setting it to get them actually carried, which is something I can't control, I decided this year to do something I can control, which is um, try to get them. So, so just talking to them, seeing what they're looking for, seeing, seeing what the process is, see how it works. Um, so that's good. Um, I want to submit patterns to Just Cross Stitch Magazine. I want their list when they, so, so they'll send them me emails when they have, when they open up for the next issue for submitting patterns. Um, once again, I would like to be in their magazine someday, but I can't control that. But I can't control <gasps> taking the time to submit. <clears throat> and the last one um, is to stitch an FFO a strawberry. So I've never done one. Is we that like the Silent Night thing that mm -hmm. I got? Yeah. I'm going to stitch that one because we have it. I don't ha think I have any other strawberry pattern. And that's like your Biscornia from last year. This is yeah. the new thing yeah. that you've never done a berry before and you want right. to try a berry. Exactly. Okay. So those are my 2020 goals. Um, it's going to be good. So for me, I don't think I had 2019 goals. <laughs> not for stitching anyway. And I'm not, I've sort of made some stitching goals for 2020. Um, my first one is to just... I want to actually stitch all my relatives' Christmas presents. You're going to stitch all of them? I'm going to try. My no heart is. Because <laughs> every year I start stitching them and I have great ideas and they're wonderful and then Karen ends up finishing them. So I've actually done some stitching this week, Floss Tube. Ooh. Anyway, so these are part, this is part of that goal. These are going to be Christmas presents for my sisters. So if you're watching and you don't want to know... Go away. Go away. <laughs> um, but... but you're fine to watch because I'm going to explain it. You're probably going to forget it by the time Christmas comes around anyway. So I'm still going to show it. So those of you who may have watched the Christmas episode, this is a pattern that I did for my grandmother. And I know that my little sister, or my sisters, big sister and little sister, both really love my grandmother. And this is a type of pattern that I think my sisters would really like. It's kind of their style of stuff. And I'm stitching them the exact same thing because... They're super cute, they love each other tons, and they love matching. So this is just like a matching thing that I can get both of them, so then they can have something that kind of ties them to grandma as well. And this so. is on 14 count Counts plastic. plastic Ada. Yeah. So. And it's a s pattern from... Cross Stitcher, February It, it was designed by Susan Penny, Susan Penny yes. and it's in Cross Stitcher, February 2019. It was a kit, and they had tons of extra threads. Yes. Floss, that's the right term, I'm sorry. And they had tons of extra floss, so that was another thing that made me decide to go ahead and do this again for both of them. Um, I'm debating about making one for mom as well, but I'm not sure on that. I'm still on the fence as to whether or not. I'll see whenever I finish with the threads and if I have some left over. So, so I started on my goal, <laughs> and I actually stitched this week. Woo! Yay! So. Um, so last time I had a giveaway. And like I said, it was a special giveaway where I was giving away all the items rather than just giving it away to one person last time. Anyways, different than usual. Everyone gets something. And actually, everyone does because everyone who entered, the way it worked out is everyone who entered is going to get at least one pattern. But be this one, I was say. Okay. So the first person that got rolled was Bridget, and she wanted Snow Woes and Evergreen, whatever so, that Evergreen one was. Bridget, this is going to you. And Congratulations. in the previous giveaway, she said she wanted this. And so I'm just going to send that there, too. Because, yeah, why yep. not? She wants it. I don't think I'll ever stitch it. <laughs> um, Lisa G. wanted Queen Bee. So this is coming to you, Lisa. Congratulations. And then J-G-U-I-D-R-Y-94. J-Gidry-94? I hope I'm saying that right. Not sure. But, Gidry? Um, wanted the P. Buckley Moss. So I will send that. I will comment on all of your comments and try to get your addresses, which reminds me. Um, so my giveaway from the last time was this one. Um, Verpy R has not responded. Um, I sent her a message today 
once again asking for her address. If she does not send me her address before next time, next video, then I will <clears throat> give it away to the, person, the other person who entered. So, so I think that's everything. Life updates. It's back to work. We're um, alive. Yeah, yeah, we are going back to work. This is our first week back. It's yeah, crazy. Well, plus a couple days the week before. Yeah. Well, this was holiday, my first week yes. back. Holiday is over. I enjoyed we got week. snow this week. Oh, we got weird. snow this week. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I love it. So I love snow. Most of my family hates it, but I love it. If we could get 12 feet of snow, I would be happy. <laughs> she wouldn't. Oh. Something to like force me to stay in and have to just watch it from inside my house. I love it. <laughs> I love the idea of just snuggling up under a blanket with a cup of cocoa while it snows outside. So the snow we got, and it was like... There was like a good chunk of snow on the ground and it was so cool. I was like, this is perfect. Um, the only downside was that it snowed during the day, which meant that I could get to work just fine. And I was at work while it snowed and then I left after it had finished snowing. Mm -hmm. So the ideal snow for me is when it comes at night. <laughs> so I can see it as it starts to fall and then go to sleep and then wake up and it still be falling and there's like a good powder on the ground and you can just be like I can't go anywhere <laughs> cuddle because we're in Virginia because That's, if yeah. we were other places yeah if we were like in Alaska they'd be like you have 12 months of this come on now uh, but yes things close down because I'm, I'm a southern boy at heart Arkansas born and reared if it snows I know goes. <laughs> um, so, but anyway, yeah, we had some snow and it made me really happy. And then yesterday I got in a little snowball fight with a coworker and that was fun. <laughs> with the leftover snow on the ground. I think that's everything for us. Yep. So happy stitching. Bye.